All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to. I got a turn signal out on here, and uh, to get to that, you got to pull this out. But the same functions for changing your headlight, your high beam, and your marker light is the same thing you do to get to this light. Now, what you need to do is get yourself a 10 millimeter. You got to take that bolt, you don't have to take it out, but if you want to, that's fine. And then you take this rod right here, you pop this rod out, you pull it all the way out, and then you grab it from this corner because there's a rubber piece of rubber here. And then you just take it, it should pop right out. There we go, it pops right out. See, there's your high beam, there's your low beam, there's your marker light, and then down here, this is your turn signal. Okay, now the number on this bulb, it, it's a uh. It should be 5731. Oh, it's a 3157. It's 3157. I can't read what the what exactly it says on there because it looks like it's got overheated a little bit. But you go to the parts store, you tell them what you got, and they can pretty much match you up. But the number on this one here, this is the new bulb. The number on this one here is. 450 or 4157 and it says NAK and then it's 2321 1507 a I know it's a lot of numbers but guys just go to the parts store where you go to get these here and they usually got a book or you can ask somebody you know what you need to get this so uh, my housing here so pretty much guys all you do you just unplug it Pop it in, put it back in there, turn it, put this back here, put the rod back here, I mean it's real, it's real simple, I know it looks real complicated, but it's real simple, make sure you get the rod in there, take Tighten your bolt back up. And that's it. So, I'm going to go in here now. I'm going to turn it on and make sure she works. Give me a second, guys. Working? Uh-huh. All right, guys, and there it is. She's back to normal. Now these right here guys, these take those, they look red, yellowish type bulbs, or amber bulbs, I think they're amber, amber lighting. These take the amber lighting. These up here probably take clear bulbs, because they already got the reflectors in there. And always guys, whenever you change out your headlights, never touch the bulbs with your fingers, because the oils on your hand cause the bulb to blow up. So, well guys, that's it. That's how easy it was. It's just a rod and a 10 millimeter and it pops out and everything is there. And I know it looks intimidating, but it's not that, that bad. My wife just did it. So, all right, guys, remember, like, share, subscribe. Don't give me a thumbs down. Do unto others you want done unto you. Until the next time, guys, this is changing the bulbs on a Chevy Uplander. Until the next time, guys, bye-bye.